presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We got seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them to be is like trying to try to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 667. NASDAQ is up 207. S&P is up 78. Gold contract up $21.90. Trading at a price point of 16.58 an ounce. We got silver up 53 cents. $19.22 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $0.34, cents, $84.85 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up 13 ticks, trading 109.24. The 30-year down a full point, plus 12 ticks at 119.02 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 1,026 ticks, trading at 111.853. The euro is at 98. The yen is at 146.96, and the British pound is at 112 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We're going to bring the futures up for us because what we're doing right now, which is pretty cool, this had a high-volume spike, and we're going after that spike right now. So we got, let me see what we have here. Okay, it just spiked it. You got nine minutes. Okay, this is not bad. You got So the volume there is 34,000. We're coming into it with 28. Yeah, the bottom line, we'll see whether it can handle it. Uh, you get a minute. So then let's go over to the NQs. I don't expect a big pullback here. I, what I do expect, folks, you're going to get a small pullback because what ends up happening, when you get a day like today, um, you know, if you got on the trend, uh, people are going to be taking some profits at the end of the day here. So if we go take a look at the NQs, you're going to see the NQs that had... 13,000 contracts, and we're at eight, and that bar is going to end. So the real question is, can that bar end over 320? And it's not going to end over 320. So right there, so the way that I do this, what that's going to say, that's going to say that we're going to go all the way over here. So that would be 248. Right now you're at 314. That would say, you know, more than likely it was coming to the close, you know, because that's the last time we had volume up there. We had volume all the way up, to, by the way, today. Volume up, pull back with light volume. Volume up, pull back with light volume. Bottom line. And what is it all about? Check it out, man. You get over to the yen. You had the Bank of, of Japan come in the marketplace. Bought, 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 bought the yen. You're going to buy the yen to support it. That's, that's what they did. And <laughs> now, this is what the differential is. Look at this bar and look at the last time they came in. Man, it's almost the same deal. Last time they came in, they drove the yen from 145 to 140, but then it closed at 142. This time, they drove it from 151 to 146. Now, it's not closed yet, but the bottom line is that, you know, yeah. And then this is, this is the biggest chart you want to keep your eye on, folks. And, you know, you got you to love charts when they do this, man. It is so wild that this, you know, we really have a shot now that the dollar will basically break its uptrend. You can see this first crossbar that I have on the 13th of September, you can see it came right down to the trend, 
trend line this is, 107.964, rejected it. Did it again? Well, this was intervention. The second, this next one here wasn't intervention, just came bit down, came down to the trend. Today's intervention, and you can see it hasn't broken that, that line yet. You know, if we get it, if we get, and I sus this is what I'm suspecting, that what the, Japan, the Bank of Japan is going to have to do is this. They can't just come in once. That's how this thing shakes out. That's what they did last time. Didn't work. You know, you're talking about currency traders. You're talking about going up, other banks going after them. They're going to have to come in again. I suspect they're going to have to come in Sunday night. That's how this normally would work. Uh, they came in fast and furious, though, intraday. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Bottom line, we, we, got, we got movement big time here. Gold contract rejected 1621. You're at 16. 59 right now and we finally have movement in the streamers okay if we take a look at franco nevada franco nevada has movement out here it's up 428 we take a look at um let's go to royal take a look at royal gold Real gold has movement. They all, their bottom line that's up three bucks they, the bottom line is that they all got movement and the movement is uh pretty good that's the bottom line let's go to uh sam in la hey sam what's going on you there Hi, sam tom. hello yeah uh, i can hear you tom can you hear me i sure can how you doing pretty good, good. Uh, i was looking at your comments on the market update thanks a lot for that absolutely so i have a few questions actually it might take a little while that's okay but let's start with the spy I was looking at the SPY on daily. I do see a reverse head and, and shoulders. Do you think it is going to go upwards? Yeah, so if we, if we take a look at the SPY, that the SPY you know, is in a potential ABC structure up, and it's a big one. It's a 27.8 A to B. So that will give you a price projection of uh, 90, 390. And on Monday, we're going to need volume with 97 million as it goes after 375.45. And today, we're doing 94. So, you know, bottom line is that it has a shot to do that ABC structure up. And then to answer your question, that yes, this could be a very small head and shoulders. I know. And it's, 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 it's set up nice, man. It really is. There's no doubt about that. And if that's what it is, then you're talking 48. So then you're talking another 30, you're talking 410. What's that up there? 411. Yeah, see, that's what's cool. If, if, on the head and shoulders, folks, you can take the top to the bottom. That'll give you a projection of 410 and 411. 73 is the um, high that was established out here on the 12th of September. Stay right there, Sam. We'll answer the rest of your questions. We're going to take a short break. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 697. NASDAQ's up 219. S&Ps are up uh, 82. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Teddy Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios, for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network at CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 708. Nasdaq's up 225. S&Ps are up 84. We're talking about Sam, and we were talking about the SPY. So, um, yeah, the, the SPY, you know, my take, Sam, it looks like it wants to go to higher price, man. Okay, sounds good. And the second question I have is that I got going some Tesla longs again by the date. I'm a Tesla fan. Okay. Uh, I bought it. I think two hundred four or five uh, yesterday uh, on the low. So, question for you is one: technically, you are the master on it. So, uh, but fundamentally, also I need some advice uh, based on uh, Sam uh, uh, the uh, conference call. Uh, Elon Musk is very upbeat about it. Like he was comparing that he's going to take over the valuation of Apple and the stuff. So do you have any suggestions? I'm still a long time holder of Tesla. I did sell some of my shares over 300 when I got it. Good for it, you. Uh, awesome, yeah. But I put it back all of them. So but you put, it, you put it back down at the 200, 204, 210, 215, whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah, 204, I got it. Yeah. So... If we can address the first part of it, right? You know, Tesla right now is uh, literally 25% market cap of Apple. <laughs> so he has a long way to go, but that's how, you know, Musk rolls, okay? Um, you know, so market cap wise, he's, he's pretty far away from it. Um, now, technically, you know, Tesla does want to go higher, man. I mean, you know, you get a big rejection. Well, what you have is this, okay? She came up with the numbers last night. Stock was trading down. You know, bottom line, you get down to 203 today, come back to 213, and, you know, that's after closing, you know, bottom line at 207 yesterday. You know, so it's rejecting. Yeah, I got this right now on a weekly, Sam, and you can see, you know, you get another rejection of lower price out here, and that's saying that, you know, this thing go right back top side to the 314. That's a consolidation, so... Um, Sounds good. This is a this Thank is a big much. day out here, particularly for Tesla, because of the fact that he didn't make his numbers. Things slowed down. You know that conference call he had. There's a lot of people like, "Hey, man, you're only 25 percent of the value of uh, Apple, and you're saying that you know you think you're going to be bigger than that." And that you know, uh, depending, a lot of people thought that that was. That was the mask, okay, of, you know, so people would, you know, stay with them. And they have. Technically, they have. 
And I think what you're going to have now, Sam, is that this market wants to go higher. So the market wants to go higher. Tesla's going to go with it, man. That's the bottom line. Everything's going to go up because everything's got smoked, you know. So I think we're, 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 I think we're in for a good rally, man, you know. Sam? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So my question is that the next is treasury uh, bonds. Is it time to take profit in it? Okay, so when you say treasury bonds, tell me what you're doing. Uh, I, I, I got uh, treasury notes, I think, uh, from the uh, treasury direct uh, for 26 weeks. Oh, good. Uh, no, no, so no, no. You stay I right there, over, man. Or should I keep it? No, keep it. That's going to be one of the best deals around. You keep that, man. Listen, this is going to be an awesome bounce, okay? But you keep that. The Treasury Direct, folks, is the best deal out here for getting interest on basically 10 grand. No, keep it, man. You know, because, you, yeah, you, you know, what's going to be so cool, man, is that, listen, January 1st is right around the corner. You're going to be able to buy another 10 grand. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts on Amazon. I'm a long-time holder, too. Should I add more to Amazon? On what one? A oh, Amazon. 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 Okay, hold it one second. This one's been tricky, man. Let me see this thing. Okay, so I'm going to put this out a monthly. Yeah, I'd let Amazon test, test this 101 first. This is, a, this is a tough one, man, Amazon, because what it did, see, it went, it went down to the highs, 99.816 was the highs of the lows of 2020, and then we got down to 101.26. But what we didn't do, see when we did that counter trend bounce up to the 146, it didn't have any juice behind it. See the contraction of volume? So what's still opened is the test for that low. So I just hang tight on that one, man. Okay, got uh, it. Thank okay, you very man. much. I appreciate it. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. The um, it, it is intriguing with Amazon. There's no doubt, folks. Okay, that uh, in fact, let's go look at Apple right now for a second because what th this is where we go again, man. I think the I think the what you're gonna see is that you're gonna you know the the, the spy looks to me like it wants to do an ABC up. Apple, oh, guess what? You know what's happening today? Now see see this here. Apple did have a little juice at the price point of uh, 146.70. You're over it. But watch how you're over it. You're over with 66 million versus 99. That's telling me it's going to be a counter trend bounce again. You know, the differential here, you got to remember something. So watch where we're at. We are at the, what is it? It's the 21st. What the heck is it? I think it's, a, yeah, it's, a tw it's 21st, right? So if you're long, this is how the probabilities go. Well, if you, you want to listen to this both ways, it doesn't matter. The probabilities are, to me, that we're going higher. And you get the time frame, everything is right. And what I mean specifically is this. The Bank of Japan finally came in again and went after or uh, bought their yen. I suspect what, what they're going to be buying the yen. And this is what's going to happen. I think what's going to happen, uh, it, well, anyway, I think that's going to happen Sunday night again. Okay. Then what, what ends up happening is that the, um, they buy the yen, the dollar goes south, okay, which helps tremendously. Then next week is basically window dressing. Okay? That's that's the bottom line. It's it's window dressing, okay? So that is gonna put more force into the marketplace, particularly if in fact we do move higher. You know? So that's my take on it. And to answer your question about Treasury Direct, yes, the Treasury Direct is ten thousand bucks per year. So you can ladder them. You know, if this thing goes on for a long period of time, you can ladder these things, which is awesome. You know, laddering just means that, you know, you, you buy the, the 10000 you buy the next one, and you'll have all different, you know, interest rate structures. And the key is, by the way, when Tommy was doing this on his program yesterday morning, the key is that if you go over to Treasury Direct, they're going to show you what the interest rate structure is. If you do buy them before the 31st, the interest rate structure is much bigger than the... Um, the change that's going to come on the November 1st. They're, they're all still good. If you average them out, the bottom line is that, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it doesn't, well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's one of the best trades out there. Out, outside of the, I think, I think the best trade out here, you know, as long as you, if you are going to go somewhere, okay, um, meaning in Europe, 
is to buy euros, man. <laughs> because the dollar is not going to stay up at these prices forever. The euro is at 98, and the bottom line is that the euro is not going away. And, you know, you don't know whether you make 20%, 30%, or you just use them, you know. So I think that's the most riskless trade out here because of the fact, I always like a trade, you know, and you don't get this a lot, that you can actually use. I mean, who's kidding who? Dow Industrials, this is, the, they're moving it, man. Let's say, check this out. Let's take a look at the E-mini, that, that spike that we had, it's over the spike. Yeah, it's way over the spike. Yeah. Stay right there, folks, come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 780. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 249. S&P's up 92. So here's the site right here, folks. And one of the Tigers just helped me out. You only have until the 28th of this month so you have to be processed, and you can see your current rate. Look at this, man. Your current rate, okay, is 9.62%, okay? For savings bonds issued May 1st to October 31st, 9.2%, man. I mean, are you kidding? That's, that's, yeah. You get five people in the family, there you go. That's five grand, man. Five grand on, uh, well, what, 4,500 on, uh, you know, 50 grand or something. The bottom line is that we haven't had something like this for a long time. And if you ask any of the old dudes like us around, they're actually a little bit older than us. But I remember specifically, okay, when these 30 years went to 14 and a half percent and like uh, people lived on them for a long period of time because then what ended up happening, of course, you couldn't make 14 and a half percent anywhere because as soon as it, 
Inflation start going down. Guess what? Those bonds, those bonds are thirty-year bonds, man. I mean, fourteen and a half percent. And you know, and if you've never seen here, watch this. There were fifty-eight cents, I believe. Let me look at this. Treasury note. Now I got to go to thirty. U.S. one. Watch this. This is like crazy, man. You know, it's going to be wild about watching this one now. I haven't done this for a long time as to the aspect of exactly where we are. So I got to go back 50 years. Where do you see this? This is amazing, actually. Okay. There it is. 55 cents on the dollar, 1981. So what that means, just so you understand how this works in the bond market, you're paying $55 for a $550 for a $1,000 bond. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Is that wild? Now, look look what... Oh, this is cool, man. So look... Let me get rid of this. Look where we got. Well, this is going to be cool, man. Let me do this. Look at this, man. Look at this. Hey, so check this out. Do you know Fibonacci-wise how fast this has been? Oh, my God. So check this out, man. We're, we're going to the point six one eight. We already passed the five zero. The six one eight is one yeah one ten oh two, and we got down to one eighteen. But <laughs> that's amazing. So check this out. So we did a over a fifty percent retracement, and that only took uh, that's one year, two years, three years, three years, and you're talking about. Um, 40, 40 years, 40 years on the way up, three years on the way back to do over a 50% retracement. That's why they say, you know, it's the staircase up and the elevator down, and it's the elevator down in spades inside the marketplace. And, the, you know, and that, and that is always, folks, always, always, always. That's just how markets like to run. Let's go take a look at the higher volume. Well, actually, let's go to the silver market. Let's see what silver's done out here. The SI. Oh. December Silva. Okay, so you're up 55 cents. Okay, not bad. We still, this is pretty cool, man. Okay, so look what Silver actually did. You get three higher lows, man, and you get two higher highs. One more, one more higher high, and you are really going to be off to the races. That's, you know, the definition of an uptrend or a downtrend, folks, is that. Technically, you know, bottom line, would you like to see, first off, you'd like to see three points. And the points would be whether you, you're putting your, you know, your lines on the points and or in this particular case, we're talking about higher highs, higher lows, you know. Um, and yes, uh, thank you, uh, one of the tigers out there in the den. It, it was, when I was talking about the head and shoulders, it wasn't, it's, it's an inverted head and shoulders at the bottom. Here, let me show it to you. You know, if we look at, look at the spy again, this is, that's what this is. It's an inverted head and shoulders. And then, you know, bottom line is that that is saying that, yeah, top side we want to go. Um, yeah, so we have, we have a question. What the question is, is that, Many of the, you know, larger oil companies have gotten back to their June highs. However, the smaller ones are 10 to 15 percent below those highs. So let's first take a look at, at the higher ones. Okay, so you have Exxon again, 105.57 is the number. That's over. It's 105.80 right now. And then if we go look at DVN, that's Devron. Yeah, I see that. Okay, and that's losing gas. CVE. That's in bad shape, whatever that is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's weak. That's really weak, man. Oil and gas. And then you go look at uh, MRO. Yeah, MRO's weak too, man. So, MRO, yeah, you know, I, 
you're right in the context, and I'm not sure why the smaller ones are like that. You know, it's real possible, listen, that, that what you're going to see out here is that um, uh, Japan, not Japan, Europe, is going to put, the, the, Europe's going to need huge amounts of money, folks, okay? So the oil companies and the banks are worrying right now in a monster way. And that just might be the market looking, saying, hey, man, you're going to basically put a, you know, windfall tax on me. And, you know, we'll, we'll see where it shakes out. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, WPC. Let's see what we got here. WPC? WPC. There we go. Okay. So this is Global Net Lease REIT provides sale back, build to suit financing for companies worldwide in addition to portfolio of diversified real estate. Okay, let's see what we got here. So this is a REIT. And they're claiming they're going to do 365. One second. Yeah, I mean, if you're going for a counter trend bounce, that's one thing, but I'd be careful here, man. Uh, you know, what, what this does have, okay, if, if you're in this, yeah, you can get 72 out of it. Uh, 74, that high of 74. It rejected the lower price today. You know, it can get there. Let me put this back longer. I would be really hesitant um, to get, be getting into any type of real estate period, okay? The bottom line, folks, we are going to take a hit. And my take is that this hit's going to be like 1989. I've been doing this a long time, man. I mean, yeah, I've been doing trading stocks, but I've been doing real estate for a long time, too. In 89, this is what ended up happening in 89. 89 had to do with the 87 crash. The 87 crash hit. It actually took about 15 months to hit real estate. And like when the 2007 was coming, it was so intriguing because there was plenty of people that had never seen a pullback. And they thought that was the biggest pullback ever. It's not even close, man. We had... We had one that I wasn't involved in, the savings and loans, okay? I, I should have, I was just still a little bit too young at that point. That was one that was a monster. The 89 came out of nowhere. The 89 had to do the same deal, interest rate structure going up, and what ended up happening, it was a 50% hit in Boston, in Florida, in Dallas, Texas, in Anchorage, Alaska. I went, I was down, I was down, you know, I was down in all these places, man. I, I flew to these places. Um, Wipeout city and then three years later it was double the price but guess what when a hit comes a hit comes if you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market then rocket equities and options report is a newsletter you should try Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow Industrial is up 754. Nasdaq's up 245. S&Ps are up 90. Let's go to our man Mike in Orange County, California. Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Hi. Nice to talk to you again. I'm uh, formerly Mike from Michigan. I did a couple of your uh, sure. live uh, trading seminars. I yeah. haven't talked to you in a little while, but I'm, I'm getting ready to leave California and move to Florida. Okay. My wife works for Costco, and she's got a job in the Melbourne area. Nice. Okay. And I would like to have your opinion on what to do about buying a home down in Florida. Should I be prepared to wait for a while? Yes. We don't have a place to go right now. I'm going to probably find a rental. That's what you want to do, get man. To know Pardon? That's what you want to do. Where in Orange County do you live? Um, I live right near the, the Air Force Base where you the where helicopter you base. Well, El Toro, yeah. Okay, cool. Time. Right, right. So, yeah. so what I would do is this. I'd rent a place for a year, okay? Okay. And two different things will end up happening there. You know, you'll, you'll make your way around there and you know what you like. Um, but it, 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 what has happened here is this. The, the amount of, you know, structures that have gone down in price, uh, just like right across the country, there's a lot, right? Just so you know, yes. folks, the, the mortgage applications last month were 87% less in the whole country, 87%. Wow. So I think what wow. you're going to see, Mike, is this, is that, you know, there's plenty of folks that no doubt have mortgages that are great and they're going to keep the house forever. OK, so that that in that case there, that's actually bullish for the market. But there's also plenty of folks that are in the flipping business that own too many properties that own too many properties that are not generating income. And and this is so check this out, folks. This is a, this is a different twist on the aspect of where we are. There's so much um, hard money out there that there's a lot of people that are going to be trapped. I, I know it for a fact, okay, because every first of the, the month, I know how many more places get pushed out in the marketplace because the interest rate structure that, you know, they're paying is way too much money, and you can't do that in a down market. And, and the way that, you know, the, the intriguing thing about that hard money market, folks, okay? It's not like the hard money market that we had like 10 or 15 years ago. This hard money market, JP Morgan Chase got behind this hard money market on a monster way. So let's say that you wanted to be a hard money dealer. Well, as long as you had some good credibility, JP Morgan Chase would actually um, back you. So the amount of hard money out there is insane. And I just think we're going to, you know, that we're going to take a hit and you're going to, you know, you'll, you'll, there's going to be deals, man. You know. Would you be Would you be more interested in a used property, older property, or a newer property? Obviously, used. Everything's used. It's going to be used. You're not going to. I, I don't think what happens with a newer property. This is what normally happens, right? Is that when we take hits like this, it's just like it's it's just like a good stock. The the newer properties, the good properties, they're going to go down a lot less than. The ones okay. that, yeah, that's how, that's how it works, man. Right. But okay. yeah, I'm telling you, man, there's so many properties in Melbourne and that whole area, you're going to get a yeah. deal because what happens there also is that that, like St. Petersburg, 
is really like a city. And so people, uh, you know, we have tourists, but not like Melbourne. Do you know what I'm saying? Melbourne has a huge amount of influx from the Northeast that have their second homes there. Like in this, in here, people just live here. Do you know what I mean? It's not like people have second homes okay. in St. Pete. They just, some of them do, but they have, most of them they don't. They, they, they really, Melbourne's a different ball game, man. So. All right, well, thank, thank you, Tom. I knew you had uh, a good insight in the, the uh, housing market and. Uh, okay, well, you have a great one, a okay. safe one, man. All right, Tom, bye now. Thank you, bye-bye. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at this 30-year, because this 30-year bond also, let me just look at, i got to look at this, because I think the 30-year probably hit USA. That's the active contract. Because this thing came down two and a half points this morning. Yeah, so we went to, I see, went to 120, no, 118, rejected 118. It, yeah. Right, we'll see. You know, because the th the 30-year, you remember when we did that, we, take, we took a look back all the way to 18, uh, 1981. What you have with that 30-year is that it looks to me like 110 is still on the agenda on that 30-year. So let's go to the GDX. And don't forget, folks, if you uh, want, excuse me, want to test drive the gold report, you know, we'll see whether it's a good time to do it. My take is that it is, but... You know, <laughs> it's been a tough market, man. Um, that being said, the GDX, this is going to probably be a small, well, we're at 2428, 2611 is game. So if you'd like to test drive the gold report, just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the front. Now, what's also going on, and this is what you, you definitely want to do, trust me, on the, this is like, where are we? Uh, oh, I got to be nice if I put TFNN up there. I mean, I, got, I have YouTube up, but I mean the website. So if you go to the website, you're going to see I'm in Teddy Kegstad. He is going to be doing a live webinar the 26th of October from 4 to 5. Now, this is for subscribers, but this is how it works, folks, okay? You can come on our website. You can, first off, test drive Teddy's newsletter. So the way the newsletters work is that you can get them for basically 28 days, you know, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So Teddy's newsletter, bottom line, is only $97 for the month. First off, you subscribe to the newsletter. What's going to happen then? You're going to get the newsletter for the month, and then you also are going to be into the workshop. And guess what? If, if it works for you, that's awesome, okay? If it doesn't work for you, you can cancel this on the 28th day. You get yourself a great education coming into the workshop. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. A great education in the currency market, and I don't think, you know, I even have to speak about the aspect of understanding currencies is the whole ball of game. You know, we all have to understand currencies because you can see how currencies can move markets, and they're moving them like beyond belief. Freeport Mac Moran. Let's go take a look at Freeport Mac Moran FCX. Nice. You get ABC up. This is good, man. See, they're moving. With, and, you know, the one thing, folks, you know, it, and you'll know this, people that buy gold, buy silver, you know, we have to have a lot of patience. And when they move, though, guess what? You can buy a house. <laughs> That's the real bottom line. You have patience, man. <laughs> you can get some action going. And you'll take heat, man. I'm not saying you won't take heat. It's vicious. But bottom line, on the other side of it, um, yeah, Freeport Mac Marine. This this one this one wants to bust through these uh, thirty three eighty nine. You got it. It's taking out the swing today. Let me see this. Yeah, so you got an ABC up. So what's this? That's thirty one ballpark thirty one twenty six. You got four points. Thirty one fifty. Oh, it's already at thirty two. So it's finishing ABC up. It'll it'll go to this uh, swing point. And then let me pull this back a bit. Yeah, if you can, the, the really cool thing here is, let me see, what's that number? That number's 29. You're inside that range. Yeah, you get inside 33, and then it can build cause and get right on up to uh, the highs once again. You know, this do if, do if this dollar gives it up, correlation is pretty direct. If the dollar gives it up and continues to give it up, you are going to see everything moving forward. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow Industrials up 730. NASDAQ up 243. S&P's up 87. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So you get the Dow. Dow is up 761. Nasdaq's up 257. S&P's up 91. You're going to finish at the highs of the day, folks. And you're going to finish over the high of yesterday. That's how this is shaking out right now. If we go into the Dow Industrials, and what did happen, remember last week or at the beginning of this week, the Dow was the first one that was showing us. Yeah, the Dow was the first one that was showing us. It was taken out that uh, the day of uh, October 6th. Uh, October 6th? Yeah, October, October 5th. You know, that had taken it out, bottom line. Now, you, now you're taking it out again. Now, oh, let me go with it. I, you know, the diamonds may be an ABC up. Oh, it's going to be a fun week, man. Okay. There we go. Let's look at this. Come on. Yeah, you got an ABC up. You do. It's a big one, too. A point on the Dow. The diamonds, this is 286. I got to do this quick. 286. You got 14. You got 22. We got uh, 322. 322, what's that? 322, man, here we come. You gotta love these ABC structures, folks. What, what I really love about them, you, you can see what happened here. The indices, the Dow's been the strongest indice, right? It, it had taken it out, took it out with volume. You have a price projection in the Dow. It's a confirmed ABC structure up. The s and is not a confirmed one yet. I suspect next week it's gonna go. The NDX is not one I expect it's gonna go to. Why? All you have to do is keep your eye on the dollar now. Uh, bottom line is as the dollar gets the lower price, guess what? This market wants higher price. It's what, you know, it's the literal push it down, push it down, push it down, pop, push it down, push it down, pop, push it down, push it down, pop. Anyway, you get the gist of it, man. Pretty wild. And if you're in the gold market, the metals market, we're going to get some action because this dollar pulling back, any type of commodity, folks, dollar pulls back, then you're going to see some real action out here, man. You know, so... 
We'll see how long it's going to last, but you're coming into window dressing next weekend. So coming into window dressing, you're going to have action, man. I mean, and it's going to be up and away. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Don't forget about Teddy Kegstas uh, workshop. It's going to be a great workshop, folks. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend.